Initially, when I look at this shoe, two things come to mind. One, why do I have to deconstruct the upper to get to the better colorway? And two, I wish I had a pina colada on the beach right now. Welcome, cool guys and doggies, to another episode of Feek and Sneaks. Today, we'll be going over the Nike SB Dunk High Hawaii or Mai Wali. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe, plus leave a comment below if you like this type of content. I will also have my other social media information down below in the description box if you want to catch me on any of those platforms. But without further ado, let's jump into this review. I know you see the box. I know you see the box. SB Dunk High Hawaii they released on April 23rd of 2021. This is a 420 shoe that is obviously nicknamed Maui Waui due to the weed strand. Duh. If you didn't know, we typically get a 420 shoe every single year and this is the 2021 edition. Now this shoe has some crazy features. Crazy features. First of all, it has this graphic floral upper all around the shoe and this tropical color theme that comes in a bunch of blue, green, and pinks. When I first look at this upper, it reminds me of that cheesy Hawaii shirt that, that your dad would probably wear on a trip to some island. Then you know the short sleeve joint. I know you know what I'm talking about, man. But I get it, Nike went extra cheesy for this shoe. You have a white midsole, as well as a sail sole that has Nike SB on the bottom. If you go back up to the top, you have this woven sail Nike swoosh that goes around the back towards the heel, as well as woven laces and woven sail going down the tongue. And this is supposed to remind you of hemp, another marijuana reference for 420. It finishes off with the same color orange Nike SB on the tongue, that's on the sole. And if you look inside of the insole, you have Nike SB, as well as some orange tropical pattern. Now one of the secret things that people may not know about the shoe is the secret stash pocket that you get inside the shoe that's similar to the Travis Scott one high. And maybe the coolest thing about the shoe is the second upper that you can get if you remove this with a knife or if you do what Nike wanted you to do, which is skate in the shoe. It is a Nike SB dunk. SB stands for skateboarding. Duh. If you choose the second option, you end up getting this green and orange upper, which I think is way, way better. This one makes me feel more tropical for some odd reason. Maybe it's the green in me, you know, being able to. They actually did the same thing with the Carpet Company Dunks that came out a couple months ago. I'll put the before and after pictures of those on the screen so you can see those as well. Now, let's get into according to my calculations. These Mario Wally Dunks released at a price point of $120, USD that is. These shoes cost roughly $250 to $275 in smaller sizes, whereas they cost $320 to anywhere near $400 in my size, bigger sizes. I can't justify paying three times, four times the amount of retail for this shoe. And it's just one of those shoes that if I don't get when they come out, I just move on. I mean, I just, it's too many shoes to be doing that. If you cop the shoe for retail, kudos for you. If you decided to keep, more power to you. If you're looking to sell right now, I would definitely hold on to the shoe and wait off. This is one of those shoes that will skyrocket later on because it's a 420 sneaker. All 4 to 20 sneakers go through the roof. Also, I think that once we're all able to travel again, obviously, you know, the COVID things, we don't like to say the C word on this channel. I think this shoe's gonna skyrocket when someone wants to get their social media fit off with a pair of Hawaii's in Hawaii. So I would definitely hold them. Um, I also definitely, personally, wouldn't cop them for 390, 400 bucks. That's just, that dead. <clears throat> But overall, I'm gonna give this shoe a six out of 10. The reason why I'm saying six out of 10 instead of something higher is because I don't like that I have to choose one or the other upper. I clearly rather choose the second upper. But if I chose the second upper, then I can't go back to the first. That just kind of irritates me. It just bugs me for some reason. I wish they might've had something else, maybe not along the switch route, but like something else that I could've just went back and forth. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't even know what that is, but for real, I just, I don't want to miss out on the first upper after 
okay in the second episode. I also don't think that she was up to par when it comes to 420 sneakers. I clearly like both the skunks and the dog walkers better than this shoe. What do you think? Let me know in the comments if you like the first upper or the second upper. If you like this shoe in general and somehow I swayed you to go cop them if you didn't cop them before. And how would you rate this one out of four with those other three shoes that I just showed? That's it for this video. We'll catch you in the near future with another review. And I appreciate y'all coming through. I'ma holla at y'all. Bye-bye.